y'all. How's it going? Hope you guys have had a fantastic Thursday. Oh my goodness. One more day and we are at Friday. Woohoo! So excited. Do you have big plans this weekend? I know like the whole month of May is jam-packed for us. Lots of stuff going on. So hey, my name's Ashley. I'm from Virginia. You see that live button right there? You got me live. If not, you're watching the replay. So, hey, replayers. Make sure you comment hashtag replay. How's it going? I can hear me. Make sure you say, hey, let me know where you're watching from. Okay. I love wood rounds. And I just disappeared already. <laughs> it's fine. I love wooden rounds. This is... a. Uh, 9 to 11 inch in diameter wood round. I think that I got it from Hobby Lobby. I'm not 100% sure. But I love natural pieces of wood. I use them all over the place just to leave them flat so that I can sit them anywhere as like, you know, you can put Matilda that we made last night. Any cute little flare pot can go on it anything. Oh, they're awesome. I love them. And this is Poplar. My trash cans moved, y'all. Oh my goodness. I was doing all kinds of shipping earlier. So, I made it. I, that's surprising because usually I can't make it. Alright, you can go find a wood round out to your yard too. This is probably about three quarters of an inch thick if I had to guess. But if you get it from a store, it's been cured and it's really smooth. So it's less work that you have to do to it. So first thing I'm going to do is turn on my glue gun. So I don't forget that. And hopefully my battery is not dead. Huh. Cross your fingers, y'all. Cross your fingers. Okay. So I love the natural look, but let's see if we can make this look like an old piece of wood. So, of course, I'm grabbing my Waverly Antique Wax, my favorite go-to stain that there is. And I'm going to grab a piece of cardboard to keep my mat looking halfway decent, and a paper towel. Here we go with the paper towels. I'm sitting right there because y'all know there's a good chance I'm probably going to need them in a little bit. All right, so I just shake my bottle up and I take the top of it and I dip my paper towel in the top. And that's how I usually get about enough. Now, we're just going to rub this over top of it. So, it's getting too dark in some spots and not dark enough in others. So, you know what you do? You grab your spray bottle and you give it a little moisture. It's cured. It's fine. It's fine. This would probably work just as well with a baby wipe. But I don't want it to be all the same color, all matching. I want it to be different because what piece of wood, natural wood now, do you see that looks perfect? So I'm going to just put a little block there and a block here and smear it on, add a little bit more water, and just get that good stained, dirty color. And it's so easy, y'all. So easy. So easy. Now, that looks great. I love it. This is what it was when we started, and now we're here. And you can tell there's a big glob going across there. That's where I started because I didn't think about using my water. But that's okay. We'll fix it. Don't worry. All right. So we're going to throw that in the trash. Matilda is sitting in the kitchen window. I get to see her all the time. Okay. So we're done with our antique wax and our spray bottle. And we have our wood round looking awesome. Now, it is a little damp because we sprayed water on it. And you can feel how it was really smooth in the beginning. But now that we've added that paint and water, the wetness, it is not so much smooth anymore. 
So, we're going to dry this really well. And then we're going to get out our handy dandy sanding block. Now, as it dries, it's going to change color, so don't let it throw you off. But that's a good thing. That's what you want. That is what you want. Look at that. See how it's drying and changing? It's awesome. Awesome. I love it. I love it. Hey, hey, y'all. Uh, yes, Zena Grace is getting so big and growing. She's so smart, y'all. She's so smart. All right, look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? I love it. Absolutely love it. And it's dry-ish for the most part. <laughs> it's fine. All right. So let's get out our Midwax Finishing Wax Special Dark. Because we're going to use that as soon as we sand. Getting ahead of myself, y'all. All right, so just a light sand. We don't want to take off any of that color, except for right here, where it's that definite difference in the color with the glob going on there. We're sanding that down a little bit more so that it blends in and doesn't look like such a straight line. Look, if y'all do this, you might want to use a baby wipe to apply it. Oh, it's looking great. Looking great. Feels great. Let me get another paper towel. I've only used two tonight. All right, got all our little sand and dust off. I'm going to flip it inside out. And we're going to get some of this. I just use a paper towel, y'all. Um, I need to get some microfibers. Now, I just got a little bit of this special dark wax. And we're going to go over it really, really good. And it's really going to bring out the wood tones. Not wood tones, but the wood rings and everything. And I'll show you the difference when I do half of it. It feels so good. So nice and smooth. Rhode Island, Kentucky. Look at y'all. Y'all are from everywhere. Y'all are from everywhere. All right, so can you see this half has got the special dark wax on it, and this half does not. Can you see the difference in that? See how it just makes those different, the rings and the colors and everything just pop. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And this just goes to show you can take anything, any object, and just make it how you absolutely want it. And I keep feeling it to make sure that we're not getting tacky. We don't like tacky. And I haven't gone over the, the center yet. We should count the rings and see how old this tree was when they cut it down. <laughs> I do that a lot. I love doing that. I love doing that. All right. This weekend, we got Philip's 18th birthday party on Saturday. Can't believe he'll be 18. The finishing wax, you can get it anywhere. I get mine at Lowe's. But like I always tell y'all, I have been using this stuff for two years. Do you see how far down it's gone? And y'all know how much I use it. Two years. So get you a little bucket of it. <laughs> it's not expensive. But get you a little bucket of it because it lasts forever and ever and ever. Okay. Absolutely love how we are looking. I missed that time. I knew I couldn't keep on making baskets. Love this wood. Check that out. Check that out. It feels great. We're not tacky. We don't like tacky, y'all. Don't like tacky. I like to use the um, the Min Wax Finishing Wax and Special Dark when I want something to be old and antique looking and rustic. 
and then I use my clear surface wax any other time when I'm just waxing. I get a lot of questions as to why I use different ones. Okay, this feels great. All right, y'all ready? Let's do this. Glue gun's still on. That's a good thing. Oh, I almost fell out my chair, y'all. Did you see that? All right, so Sambo used this the other day. That way it's not upside down. And he used this on the stars. Um, I'm not sure if I posted that video or not yet. I might not have. Probably not. But these are the ones he did for the auction, and they were great. So we're going to put this pattern on our wooden piece. I love this pattern. I think it is so awesome. So we're just going to have like a little flag on here and a pinwheel shape. Very rustic, very primitive looking. It's going to look fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And I did not wax it because, I mean, I didn't fuzz it because it's wood. And a lot of times when you work on wood surface, it doesn't stick as much. So I want it to really, really stick. And it's not overly sticky. So that's why you didn't see me fuzz it. This is going to look so awesome. All right. So. I think my blue that I'm going to use is Cadet. I'm hoping that this bright blue will look really good on this dark wood and keep me in my rustic feel. Rustic feel. So I'm going to do the blue over the stars. Let's take a peek. Yeah, I think we're good with that. I think we are good with that. And if you want to paint your wood round, you can do that. You can paint it different colors. White would be really pretty. But I want mine to be like a natural, primitive look going on. And I totally swiped and swiped across my finger. <laughs> It's fine. All right. So we have the blue on the stars. Now the stars are going to be the wood color. And the rest of it is going to be blue. And I need to remember I have a hunk of blue on my fingernail. So I don't smear that and get it everywhere else. So we're going to pull up. That looks amazing and drop it. All right, now, these other ones. I want to see how Saucy does with this primitive look. So let's try it out and see. Mm, it looks more orangey on that dark wood. But I only have bright red. So we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. I love this color. This is the color of the month. It is so pretty. My screen keeps going dark. Because it's not moving. It's just spinning. <laughs> it's just spinning. I think this can look awesome. Awesome. Y'all, just use your imagination with anything that you make. Use your imagination. That looks awesome. I threw my thing back in the floor. How cool looking is that? That looks so awesome. I love it. 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 I love it.
Absolutely love that. Yes, Sam laughed at Matilda. He laughed at it so hard. I love these colors. Love these colors. And like that, she's dry. She is dry. Now, leave it to me to get my sanding block out and rough it up a little bit. But I love that star on there. Let's see. It would sit like this. I love it. I think it's so cool looking. It's not complete, but I love it. You might not like it. It's a, it's a me thing. Now, I have some wooden beads. I'm leaving them natural, y'all. I'm leaving them natural. They would be really cool to dye in that saucy color, too. I'm going to grab four of these wooden beads. I didn't catch it on fire. I didn't catch it on fire. Oops, y'all. Uh-oh. See, my glue gun turned off. I waited. I turned it on too early. All right, let's glue these little wooden beads on here to give us little feet for our riser. I love putting these anywhere and everywhere. They go on the table. Sometimes I use them just to set some cupcakes on. You never know what I'm going to put on them. Like I said, plants in the bathroom just for like a little candle and something. You never know. I use them for so many things. I have so many risers because I just love them. That scared me. I thought something was moving out the corner of my eye. The, the ceiling fans just blew the um, paper towel thing open. <laughs> you can make feet out of anything. And if you're going to put actual food on it, then yes, clear coat it with some spray. But look at that. How cute and simple and easy is that? That is absolutely precious. Absolutely precious. Yeah, see, I would put it in my bathroom, put a little candle on there. You know, my little night wash stuff that I use, anything. It is so cute, y'all. Absolutely cute. Actually, I would switch sides because I want to see the blue with the stars. I love it. Absolutely adorable. Isn't it cute? So cute. So quick. So fast. And I threw that paper towel in the trash can that's not even sitting there. <laughs> too funny, y'all. Too, too funny. What you think? You like it? So cute. And you can put anything on it. I love the star. Ready for the 4th of July. America. Everything coming up. It's awesome. Super cute and easy. Yes. Makes a great gift too. Absolutely makes a great gift. Fix you a little um, a riser and give somebody a candle. Y'all, because y'all know I'm all about baskets. Gift baskets. That's my thing. Put a bunch of stuff in a gift basket. Something like this. Homemade. They're going to love it. One of a kind. Original. It's perfect. Plus, y'all. Oh. I love my Mason Grow stuff. This stuff, it just smells so good. So good. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for hopping on with me tonight. Your, your, your word, hello. Your word is wood. Comment the word wood to get a list of everything I use, plus these cute star cutout transfers. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow night. Maybe, I think. But it's going to be later because it's Cinco de Mayo and we're going to have tacos with Sam's mom and dad. Woohoo! Love tacos! May the fourth be with you. Bye, y'all!